today's your big day, man. We're gonna find you a new home. Good morning, guys. So, today is the day that, unfortunately, sadly, I have to get rid of my piranhas. I really wish I could keep them. I really want to keep them. I've enjoyed having them. But I'm here in my dorm room. I just, I can't provide them with a the bigger tank right now. It's just not realistic for me. There's, there's already too much going on. But I did find them a nice new home. Getting ready right now, getting everything packed up, and uh, we're gonna be on our way shortly. have arrived for some of you this place might look familiar if you don't know where we are we're at gingerbread tropical fish and coral the guys who run this store they're two twins their names are Nick and Chris I call them the gingerbread twins uh, for obvious reasons Gingerbread twin number one. Number one. There's two. gingerbread twin number two. Why am I number two? Dude, okay. we are all so pale. If I dye my hair orange, can I be the gingerbread twin number three? Would that make us gingerbread triplets? triplets. Ginger squad represent. Ginger squad. Let's go. Represent. So I brought you guys a present. I know you guys kind of already know what they are because you agreed to take them. We never agreed to anything. <laughs> no, no, no. These guys told me that they were fully capable of fully. taking care of the three piranhas. So, I brought them here, gingerbread tropical fish and coral. All right, I need one of you to come help me. They are, they're very good. They're yeah, they're, I brought them in buckets, so that's that's one. I had to separate them, bro, because they started fighting. The little one was getting picked on. You see them? Yeah, oh, there's two of them in here. Oh, this is the one with two? Yeah. And then this is the second one. I don't know which one is the mean one, I just know that- One of them is. Yeah, I just know that like the little one doesn't like the other two big ones. <laughs> All right, cool. That's actually very convenient. Thank you. <laughs> this is the gingerbread mobile. They just got this van. They take it to like frag swaps and stuff. Oh man. All right, so where are these guys going? Pretty sure they're gonna go somewhere up there. Yeah. All right, guys. There's a kind of a funny um, and also not so funny reason why I brought you guys the piranhas but Piranha. so, so these guys called me actually a few days ago and told me the craziest news you guys want to explain to the viewers what happened we got robbed boy okay so this is this is what happened our mom was running the store because we were at uh, the sea mass aquarium show that we weren't here so, so she literally turns around for 30 seconds and this guy whoop. you're right ready I'll roll the videotape right now of what this guy did the So this guy basically attempted to steal your coral. He did, he did steal, steal your he coral. He did steal my coral until so, I got back from the show. And then we're like, where'd our coral go? How did he think you guys would just not notice he was missing? I literally walked in the door and I go, where'd my coral go? It took me all of 30 seconds to know it was gone. So that just, it wasn't just any coral too. This was like a, wasn't it like a really rare or expensive yeah. coral? Yeah, so it's, it's like a prized piece of ours. Like the Cactus Spawn Indonesian Gold Torch, I guess is the best way to say it. How much is this coral worth? Uh, we had it listed on the tank for $650. Like this is almost like the equivalent of going into the Apple store and stealing a laptop or yeah, stealing no, an iPhone. No, this guy committed a felony theft for a piece of coral. Dude. Guys, I mean, don't steal coral, bro. <laughs> Just don't do it, man. Sell some lemonade on the street, make some money, coral. and come get your coral. Before he left the store with the coral in his pocket, he yep. did end up buying a coral frag, a zoanthid yep, yeah. frag, and water, right? Yep. Yeah, salt water. Okay, so that was like all of what? Like 30 bucks, 40 yeah, bucks? 30, yeah. 30, 40. How did he pay? With a credit card. <laughs> we'll look on the card statement. Name on then. his name, then we. Looked him up on Facebook. This guy is dumb, dude. We've got the register right here, but now we also have one other thing posted up near here that's just kind of obvious. All of the security cameras that are recording. 
do? <laughs> As he is checking out, he can see that he's being recorded with the high level security that the gingerbread twins have installed. Yeah. <laughs> How many cameras do you have in here? Uh, There's 16 cameras. You can just see them, man. They're, just, <laughs> they're so obvious. They're like all over this store. They're all over the store. Not only do we have security cameras, but it's also almost every single uh, business in this unit does have cameras. And just like that, you have footage of him getting into his car, so you have his license plate. Yeah, the cops go to his workplace, try to find out where he is. He's not there. Uh, and then they alert him, but then he turns himself into the police department. Thank God he actually turned himself in. He brought the coral with him, so you gotta give him that. What did you notice about the coral when you got it back? It had super glue on it, so he glued it to his rock work. Like, he knew he wasn't gonna get caught. Like, I mean, really? He was it, like, oh, yeah, this is my coral now. We're you got the coral back. Where is it? Let's yeah, see this there thing. There it is. It's looking, so it was this piece right here. So that's a golden torch, right? Right now, in this industry, like, gold torches are super, super, super hard to get. All right, so I'm gonna say this. Obviously, this guy thought he could take advantage of the gingerbread twins. I don't know why. I mean, look at you I, guys. You. I wouldn't take advantage. I would never. Of no. He looks mean. Give me like a growl. Grr. I feel like in, in any business, you're gonna run into problems like this. And so I just, I applaud you guys for uh, the way you handled it and for being prepared. But to make sure that nobody ever tries to steal from you guys again and stick oh. their hands in your tanks, I thought you guys would be the perfect home for the piranhas. Billy and Jeffrey? No. Juan, Juan and Diego? No. There's three. It's Igor, oh, Vladimir, oh, and Jeff. Vlad. Igor, Vladimir, and Jeff. My name is Jeff. Where are we going to put these guys? We're, we're going to put them over here. Should we separate them? Yeah, I think you should separate yeah. the, two the two medium-sized ones and then the little one. The two, we're going to put the two up here because they look scarier. How are you doing today? We're going to acclimate some fun fish. Wait. Hi, my name is Mark Callahan, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank TV. We take our fish in our buckets and uh, we take about a cup full of water and we will dump it in the buckets and continue to do this every like 10 minutes or so. And uh, what this does is it converts the water chemistry that we have over the same water chemistry in the bucket. So it kind of like makes the water the same as you mix it together. And that is the process of acclimation. What we're also doing is by doing that quick enough, it'll bring them to the same temperature. One hour later. All right, so the fish are fully acclimated. We've uh, let them acclimate for like an hour or so. Unlike George, we're a fish store, we have nets. Bro, I'm gonna miss these piranhas. It's a great thing for them to hide in. Basically, it offers them a spot where they can feel secure for themselves. We do that with a lot of the new fish that come in, just so that they can have like their own little cave. We got multiple sponge filters on this tank. We also got like this, their own heater in their own tank. Yeah, so we're gonna raise the water up here just a tad because piranhas like a little warmer water typically. Like we want the fish to be as comfortable as we can have them be while they're here. So you're not the first person that like, even in Chicago that I've seen someone yeah. go into the store and literally stick their hand in the tank yeah. and steal coral. Yeah, like, so this isn't like the first time this has happened. This is like, it's more than a lot of people even share. Like I've talked to a lot of store owners over the past couple of weeks, like after this had happened. And um, it actually happens really regularly, which is really sad when it comes to this industry because this is a hobby. I like, I try to be reasonable with people, so like if someone, like I've had people steal fish food and stuff, and it makes me laugh, but it's like, really guys, if you need fish food, 
Come and ask me. I have big buckets of it in the back. I'll be more than willing to give you guys a thing of fish food. Like, you shouldn't have to resort to stealing to feed your fish. We're here to help everyone. That's what local stores are doing. That's literally what most local stores will do. We're all supposed to be here for each other. And uh, if people start stealing stuff, it's just kind of... It really puts a damper on the whole industry. Uh, thanks, George, for bringing by the piranha. I think it's kind of a great way to prevent people from sticking their hands in our tanks because uh, no one's going to grab something that's smiling back at them with some teeth. So, uh... <laughs> thanks so much for watching, guys. Definitely make sure to come check out Gingerbread Tropical Fish and Coral if you want to see Vladimir, Igor, and Jeff uh, before they, mm, they might sell, potentially. So, in Naper Thrill. Oh no, dude, it's far from that. Naperville. I'll put the link to their like website and or address in the description the below. Facebook. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. But until then, remember to keep those nitrates low. George, oh. out.